Okay, today we're going to do a video on how to uh, shoot an azimuth and get a back azimuth. Simp quick and simple method, quick tip on you go out to your hunting site and you stop on a, a road somewhere and you set up your camp and you're going to go hunting with some buddies and you know, you've got your GPS, you've got all that, but you know, just as a backup in case any of that stuff fails, this is what you do. All right. So for simulation, we're going to use this line I've drawn on this map and we're going to say that you're on this, you know, logging road here with all these switchbacks and you're, you're in a camp here. So you get out of your car and you look up here and you guys say, we're going to go hunt up here on this ridge line. Okay. So you take out your compass before you go, you're standing by your truck. Again, we're not using this map. We're just using this visual, visual, ah, visualization. Um, and you take your, your compass out and you put your red in the shed. This is, this is the red. This is the shed. You put it in the shed and you look down your point azimuth arrow. And what you do is you say, okay, well, it's a hundred degrees going to that mountain up there. So you remember that hundred degrees. Now, a simple way to think about it, you can just look back and 280 would be the back azimuth. So in other words, once you shot that azimuth, you walked out into the field to your location, no matter how far it was, say out here somewhere, and you wanted to walk back, you turn around, your back azimuth is going to be 280 degrees. That is the azimuth you will look at on your compass when you go back. Now, a quick and easy way to remember that is using 180 as your divider. Now, it just happened that uh, 280 is the number on this, but 180 is your is your rule. Now, here's what you do. If it's 100 or, le or if it's 180 or less, so in this case we have 100, you add 180 to it, and it'll tell you what your back has is. So if you look down here, I'm not really sure what that is. Just remember, if it's less than 180, you add 180. So this is 100. So you add 180, that would give you 280. And that's exactly what your back azimuth is. If it was more than 180, you would subtract 180. So if you had 185, you subtract 185, or you subtract 180, you'd have five degree azimuth, back azimuth going back. Okay, so now getting back to this, what you do is you're gonna do a 10 degree offset. Now you've, you've shot your azimuth 100 degrees, you know when you come back, you're gonna be um, coming back at a 280. But instead of doing an actual 280, you're gonna add 10 degrees on either side. So you're gonna either go 290 degrees coming back or you're gonna go 207 degrees coming back, depending on the terrain. What you're doing is you're looking out here at the map. I have her show you here. So you come out here, you know you're gonna be out here somewhere and you look on this side and that's real steep terrain looking at these uh, terrain features. So you think, well, I'm probably not gonna walk back that way even if I get lost. I'm gonna stay to this open terrain features and work my way in this way. So to do your back azimuth, you're gonna come over here and you're gonna think, okay, I'm gonna add 10 degrees on the uh, on my right hand side coming back. So my uh, over azimuth is gonna be 10 more degrees. So instead of 280, it's gonna be 290. Now, what that means is when you come back and you turn around and you're walking back, you're shooting an azimuth of 290 degrees instead of 280. And you're saying, well, why the heck add that 10 degrees or change that 10 degrees either side of that uh, 280? Well, the reason being is that not only is your, are you going to zigzag through and be off a little bit, is that once you get back to this road, it has all these switchbacks in it, you're not going to be able to see your camp. So you get here to your road and you go, oh my God, which way do I go, right or left? Well, if you did this properly and you put in that 10 degrees, added it to your uh, back azimuth, it was 280, it's now 290, you are going to end up on this side, here's where your truck is at, you're going to end up on this side of it, so you know you're going to go left and go back to your site. That way you're not walking this way on the road and then you get down three, four miles, oh crap, wrong way. Gotta walk all the way back and then pass all the variance you made in your azimuth going back. So it's a quick, easy way, add 10 degrees to it, change it, you can go either side of it. So like I say, 280, you could go 290 on this side because of terrain, you decide to go to the right-hand side. Or you go to the left-hand side and do 270, uh, 10 degree variance, back azimuth going back. And in that case, you would put you on this side of your vehicle, your vehicle's here, then you know you're gonna turn right and go on the road. So you can use either way, either side of the compass, just looking at the terrain when you first shoot your azimuth, bearing or heading, civilians call them bearing and headings, uh, military we call them azimuth. Whatever that is, you use your back as, do a 10 degree offset, that way when you hit the road, you don't have to sit there and wander down this road and go, oh God, I went the wrong way and go back. You can do this on trails, you can do this on roads. It's a quick, easy way to get you back. A quick, simple, easy task. Shoot you an azimuth, write that azimuth down, instantly look at your back azimuth, add your 10 degrees to it, whichever side you want to do, right or left, and then remember, you're coming back on right or left side, and when you do, you 
adjust and walk back on the road on that side. Just a quick, easy way to get you back to your camp, to your truck, and get you out of there safe. Hope that helps you. Thanks.